I just love the fact that they're so cryptic and like difficult to understand. You know, they live in these rivers and a lot of people in this area don't even know that they actually even occur here or that they only occur here. That's something that's special. Why are they only found in certain places? Or why might they be declining in places like Wake County? We know so, so little about them just because they're so hard to find. Anything that I do essentially is you know, something new that we weren't aware of. You know, if we're not careful, they're gonna start disappearing from some of these areas where there's heavy construction and development going on. So for catching the water dogs and you know whatever else we happen to get, we're using these baited minnow traps. Fish or water dogs will end up getting, you know, going down into that funnel and get caught inside the trap and they have a difficult time finding their way out. Now in this bottle here, we have raw chicken liver. Uh, you know, we might not think that that uh, sounds too appetizing, but they sure do. Um, so this uh, helps to attract some of the water dogs into these. And we just end up tying this onto a tree or something else in the bank and throw it out there. It's so difficult to catch them in the first place. It's 35 degrees and raining, and that's the time that these guys love. And so some of our sampling just naturally has to be done in the cold and wet weather, which can be really challenging. We believe that this species is probably nocturnal primarily. And so, you know, we throw these out during the day, anticipating that we're going to get water dogs to go in here, investigating the bait sometime during the night. Well, we got a water dog here. Want to come see it? Oh man, yeah, it's a good sized adult. Probably about seven, seven, maybe eight inches. So we're gonna set it down here a moment, get all wrapped up and uh, get ready to process this critter. How much do you weigh? Oh, 52 grams. That's good size. So we're gonna take, so doing weight, then we're gonna do total length, uh, SVL. I'm going to actually measure the length of its gills. Then I'm going to check and see if it has already been marked previously. Um, if not, I'll mark it. Um, then also take a tissue sample. So I'm also taking photos of each animal. Um, just in case the marks aren't retained for whatever reason, because you know, salamanders are wild, they can kind of do whatever they want. They, like eject marks from their body, but they have a unique spotting pattern. So I mark them with uh, VIE or visible implant elastomer. So I'm basically just giving them a little tattoo in that position. And that's all we do with that critter. So once we and get all the photos that we like. We're just gonna go ahead and set her back in. You know, at the end of the day, I just love seeing them. Like, they're such an amazing species. They're sort of, they're attractive in a way that you wouldn't expect. From a research standpoint, I just love the fact that they're so cryptic and like difficult to understand. You know, they live in these rivers and a lot of people in this area don't even know that they actually even occur here or that they only occur here. That's something that's special. They are um, only found in the Noose and Tar River basins here in Eastern North Carolina. They're almost more like hellbenders in terms of the water quality that they need. 
they still need this flowing water like what you see behind me, this nice creek or river with highly oxygenated water. And in places like this, they're probably one of the more apex you know, predators. You know, there's certainly catfish and other big things, but as far as uh, salamanders, I mean, these, these are some of the largest things that you're going to see in the area. We know so, so little about them just because they're so hard to find. Why are they only found in certain places? Or why might they be declining in places like Wake County? That's really hard to determine when it's so difficult to catch them in the first place. You know, aside from just uh, anything about the water dog specifically, you know, really just try to get involved with conservation of your local waterways. You know, some of where these occur, such as Middle Creek and Swift Creek, are directly downstream of the rapidly expanding, you know, Apex Cary area of Wake County. And, you know, if we're not careful, they're going to start disappearing from some of these areas where there's heavy construction and development going on. So just advocating for your local waterways directly impacts how well these can do.